Hey, it's Marco from PhoneDog.com, and ever since CES a few months back, Samsung has been prepping a new line of tablets called the Pro Series. It's a new line created to give the most powerful and most beautiful experience to all tablet users, and what you've got here is the biggest, baddest, and most expensive tablet they've got. It's the Samsung Note Pro 12.2. From the name alone, you'll guess it has a 12.2 inch display, but it also has a whopping 2560 by 1600 resolution, which gives it 247 pixels per inch. In comparison, the iPad Air only houses a 2048 by 1536 resolution. It does get washed out at really extreme angles, but overall, it's pretty good. Viewing content looks great when it's optimized for the extra screen real estate, but when you load things like Twitter, visually, it's not taking advantage of the display, unlike the tailor-made applications for the iPad. Inside this Wi-Fi only model, you'll find a 1.9 GHz quad-core processor sitting next to a 1.3 GHz quad-core processor working in an octa-core configuration. And if that wasn't enough, you'll also find 3 GB of RAM, an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera for those people, and a 2 megapixel front-facing camera for everyone else. This is an odd tablet since it's quite large, much larger than most of your average size of tablets at 10.1 inches, like its own Tab Pro brethren. The material on the back is the same faux leather that's found on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, but obviously on a much larger scale. The tablet is pretty thin overall, coming in at 8mm thick. The Note Pro 12.2 has a few ports and buttons running along the side. Starting with the bottom, it's being completely clean with no ports. On the left side, you'll find one of the two stereo speakers and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the top, you'll find the sleep-wake button next to the volume rocker, a microphone plus an IR blaster for your Samsung Smart TV, and on the right side, you'll find your trusty S Pen slot, a second stereo speaker, a micro SD card slot to expand the 32GB internal storage, and a micro USB port for charging. One thing I have noticed is the size. It almost feels like something that should be running Windows 8, similar to the Samsung Ative tablets of last year. But this is not running Windows 8. It's running Android 4.4.2 KitKat with a new skin called Magazine UX. Essentially, it's a slightly lightened version of TouchWiz, similar to the TouchWiz we looked at on the Samsung Galaxy S5, and the magazine part comes in a way of streams of news and stories on separate home screens. Now I say home screens because I don't exactly know what to call these things. They are not home screens, but they're also not applications. So if you slide into this magazine view, you can see feeds from news, sports, text, and blogs, or really anything that has some sort of RSS feed. It's basically a ripped off version of Flipboard. Actually, I think I'll leave it at that. It's a ripoff of Flipboard, and I'm not exactly sure what the real use for it is. I've never been a fan of RSS readers, but I love the way Flipboard worked. I usually go to the independent applications for my news, my sports, and tech, but I do like the idea of a central hub or software to give you everything that you wanted, but it won't be optimized for one single news feed. So like most people, I use notifications for all of my alerts, and I go directly to the application where the alert came from. Only a few times have I ever used Magazine on the Note Pro 12.2. Now, if you love Flipboard, you'll love Magazine. Now, back to Android. It looks like TouchWiz with only more Google on top. I do like the Google Now icon on the bottom left corner. It gives it slightly faster access to Google Now, a little bit better than holding down the home button. I do wish it had the OK Google phrase that the Nexus phones have. Google Now is just much better than S Voice, which still sadly exists on the Note Pro 12.2. Now, Samsung is marketing this tablet as a Pro model, and it comes with Pro software, or so Samsung thinks. It comes with these bloatware applications like HCell, basically a spreadsheet application, HWord, HShow, and so on and so on. To me, this sounds like a direct response to Apple's pages on all their iOS products. They are useful, but it doesn't connect to the cloud like iCloud does or Microsoft's OneDrive, so that's a massive, massive fault. This isn't exactly an ecosystem solution, more of a device solution to compete with the rest of the pack. And once you figure that out, you'll see that this isn't a tablet for the professional. If you really do need something pro, you have Microsoft Surface tablets that's running a full version of Windows 8. But if you take off the pro goggles and you take a look at this tablet just as a tablet, you'll find that it's extremely fast and efficient. The Note Pro 12.2 has made me use the S Pen more than I ever had before. A larger surface that allows you to do things like S Notes, Action Memos, Air Gestures, and one of my favorites with a larger display is Pen Window. Just basically draw out the space where you want your multi-window application to run in, and then select the application you want. And if you're worried about the performance of the Note Pro 12.2, you really shouldn't. I mean, two quad-core processors really is enough to run Android 4.4.2 and Magazine UX with no sweat. There are a few 
kinks currently with Magazine, but nothing that software updates can't fix. And speaking of software updates, hopefully this new friendship with Google means faster Android updates in the future, unlike its TouchWiz counterpart. Also, battery life is amazingly good. The battery is rated at 9,500 milliamp hours. It took me a full two days to run this down into the red zone. But this is still a premium product. It's priced at $749.99 for the Wi-Fi model. While it's larger and more powerful than most of its competitors, I just don't see why I would spend an extra $250 for a tablet with the same features as all the other tablets. It's clearly not a pro product. The only pro tablet device currently around is Microsoft Surface Pro, earning a full version of Windows 8 and also Intel's i5 chip. For the average consumer, you'll buy something like the Kindle Fire, the Nexus tablets, or if you have deeper pockets for a tablet, Apple's iPad. You won't spend it on the Note Pro 12.2, not at this price. Thanks for watching this video, and if you found this video helpful in any way, make sure to hit that like button at the bottom of the video, and also hit that subscribe button for future phone dog videos by yours truly, and leave a comment below for future video requests, and as always, follow me on Twitter at phone dog underscore Marco, and I'll see you guys next time.